Welcome to another Shire Real Estate Wrap from Peter and Michael from Lang & Simmons Miranda. I thought I'd just start with a couple of statistics to get those out of the way. So by way of example, in the 2228 area, this is the Miranda area, last year in this same period over the last three months, there were 69 property sales. In the same period this year, the last three months, there's been 47. Now, that's about a third less so we're not necessarily saying properties are taking longer to sell. The reality is the fact that there's less property on the market. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about that later. The other statistic relates to auction clearance rates. And if you've been reading the papers lately, across Sydney, auction clearance rates have been sitting at around 77%. In fact, our own auction people, Cooley Auctions, for the last three weeks, they've had 100% clearance rates. So what that is, it's all as a function of the fact that there is buyer heightened demand. And that's been driven by a couple of things. Of course, interest rates have gone down again, 0.25%. We've also had the instance where the, um, the tax package, where there's going to be a, a budget surplus, so we're going to get more money, we hope. And then the third stage of that is the fact there is, has been buyer heightened demand, driven by the fact that there has been falling property prices. So that leads me on to the fact that, that there is a price cycle that happens. Property prices go up, property prices go down. But that's driven by another cycle. That's called the volume cycle. And the volume cycle relates to the fact that there is less property now on the market. So what you find as we move into this new cycle, this new period, is that buyers are out there looking at property and they really don't have the range and the scope that they used to have. So what that means, in fact, is that property prices are driven by competition. So as we actually move along through this, we're going to actually find that prices will start to drive upwards. I'm not saying it's going to be a rush to the market, but there comes a point in time when buyers have to decide when to go into the market and sellers have to decide when to sell. Now, when a seller sells, there's still a lot of this going on. It's the fact that some vendors or sellers are expecting to get a price that they may have, may have achieved two or three years ago. Well, unfortunately, that's not going to happen. So those property, properties that are selling are the ones which are realistically priced. And one good gauge of that is how long a property is staying on the market for. Our view is that you should be receiving offers within the first three weeks to four weeks, and your property should be selling short thereafter. If it's not, you have to seriously start to look at price. From a buyer's point of view, you have to look at it from the point of view that at some given point in time, prices will start to move. So if you're giving an offer to an agent, make it a serious offer, an offer that's related to market value, not a bargain price, because in this, we're moving into this market now and bargain prices just won't exist at the moment. So what I'd like to do now is hand you over to Michael and he'll talk to you through a couple of examples of properties which we've recently sold. Thank you. Some recent case studies to help you keep an eye on the market. What we took into consideration was price, presentation, promotion and ultimately the people that you have involved to sell your property. This apartment here, a modern two bedroom apartment situated in Miranda. From first offer to last offer, we were able to negotiate a $40,000 price difference all the way to a successful sale of 715,000. Staging, renovations, all completed prior to market, something that we would love to help you also with your property journey. Another example, number 60B, Turga Crescent in Carrying Bar. A 25 year old duplex, the owners had recently refreshed, repainted, and restyled the property ready to go to market. That little bit of extra effort helps with the emotional connection with the buyers coming through the door. First offer to last offer, through our negotiations, a $95,000 premium, the sale eventually reaching a million and 15. All these little touches help with the emotional connection at the end of the day and the buyers engaging with your property. Something that we can help even prior to listing your home with renovations, styling, and ultimately a successful sale. Thanks, Michael. So with prices now starting to possibly bottom out and the decline starting to stop, you're starting to see different segments coming into the market. So we've got the first home buyers now starting to have a serious look at now introducing themselves to the market, understanding that prices could be at their lowest right now. 
We've got upgraders and downsizers. These people are now looking to actually do the transition at a lower cost base because the reality is if you are buying and selling in this market at the moment, you've got lower prices. If you're selling, you've got lower commission rates and with lower prices buying, you've got lower stamp duty. So the cost base is lower. With investors, there's also a good chance that they're now seeing the opportunity to get in at this lower price as well. So what we're saying is, we're not saying necessarily you need to jump in the market right now, but now is as good a time to start doing your planning. So what I might just do is suggest that Michael. So general feedback from the buyers that we've been meeting at our open houses, common thread is that they are finding that there are fewer properties to choose from. Um, our experience at the moment, obviously, we've been through that little lull throughout the winter period. Conversations with these people are that spring is just around the corner and traditionally, obviously, more properties will come on the market. So if at any stage, buying or selling, you need advice in the current market and assistance with your property journey, feel free to give either Peter or myself a call and we'd be happy to assist.